these FBI agents from Bruce Orr, his wife worked at GPS, a Fusion GPS. They created the dossier. You, you've got Peter Strzok and his lover, Lisa Page, saying they want an insurance policy just in case Trump won. And then on the other side of it, we know that there's evidence right now of actual criminality, and those people were giving immu uh, they were giving uh, uh, immunity uh, deals, immunity deals rather. Pardon me. Like for example, the guy who worked at the email company who said, "Oh yeah, I had an oh uh, an aha moment, and I actually did delete." A lot of Clinton's emails <laughs> after lying to the FBI saying he didn't delete. What was he given? Immunity. So, really, Newt, where is this going? I mean, right. we've got the evidence in our faces well, and we, nothing's well, happening. We, well, no, I think things are happening. I think the Congress is doing its job. I think uh, the news media has begun to realize this is a gigantic story. Uh, certainly, John Sullivan and others have been doing an amazing job of piecing it together despite enormous resistance. Uh, from the elite media. Look, there are two things I take out of this as a historian. One is we now understand how close we came to a real disaster if Hillary had won. Uh, remember, if Hillary had won, all of this would have been swept under the, under the rug. The system would have continued to decay into corruption and dishonesty. Cronyism would have continued to grow. Uh, and in that sense, Trump is a disruptive figure who's breaking up the insider deals, the insider corruption, uh, the kind of things that are clearly criminal behavior. Uh, I think that's important to remember. The second thing is this goes to the heart of the American system. We have to rely on the rule of law. Uh, we are a very diverse country. We have enormous potential tension in our country all the time. People have to have some sense of faith that they are going to be judged equally before the law. Look at, look at General Flynn's treatment, and then look at the Clinton cronies' treatment. Right. They and I, it I defy anybody in America to, yeah, I defy anybody in America to tell me that this is currently a fair system. This is a rigged, corrupt system, uh, and it's going to have to be cleaned out. Uh, and I think whatever it takes, whether it takes sessions, going through on a wholesale basis and firing people at the FBI, whether it takes the Congress, uh, going through a direct confrontation, uh, it's going to have to be done, because otherwise the American system is gradually going to decay and become, there's going to be a cancer of illegal behavior. At, remember, this is at the heart of the law enforcement community. This isn't some minor thing. This is the very core of the American system of law enforcement that was being corrupted by Obama and by Hillary Clinton. I mean, the lawlessness is just out of control.